This digital tape is costing us a lot of money. Come on oh, in. Oh, Mar Marley. Are your hair look pretty? Or, oh, look, the chair's out of here. The chair's out of Look at that. Come on. Pretty. Come on. Pretty Class pretty. is now in session. <sighs> oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, man. So, sit so back. Like, I don't want your head No, no. It's like this. What? That squeaky old chair's got a new chair. Look at that. <laughs> How did that happen? <laughs> That's like yeah. a ride at Disneyland. I like it that. It was. And it was a lot cheaper. It had a lot of highs and a lot of lows. A lot, a lot of, a lot of lows. And it was. Uh, oh, and you, you don't want, we don't want anybody calling? No, no. We're going to have that. All turned off. Just for you guys. And you I'll, figure we could have done that before we started. I put it over there in that. So hey, I know later. Oh, you're not going to find it. I'm not. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sit there and go, where did I put it? He lost his phone last time. Right Howdy, y'all. I'm Mr. Holga. And I'm Todd Puckett. And this is Don's Used Photo Equipment. All day. Used Photo Equipment. All day. Some of it is new equipment. <gasps> that's right. You know, that's a that's a uh, misnomenclature, or you know, it's because there's a lot of new stuff here. There is. There's a lot of new stuff here because we can't buy enough used stuff. People, gosh, one, gosh, people come in and say, "Do you have 35 millimeter film cameras?" I sell them as soon as I get them. Yeah, they, they're used. In, they're in. Out. They're out. They're gone. It's I like picked up two. Getting your name on a waiting list helps. No, it doesn't really. <laughs> Okay, but, becoming friends with him and getting your name on the <laughs> a little bit better, a little <laughs> you know, bit better. It, it improves my odds just the tiniest, just the tiniest, just the tiniest bit. But we 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 would sit there and have. Uh, I, I bought two medium format. This was like years ago. Okay, bought two medium format uh, uh, cameras at ten thirty in the morning. Yeah, sold one at twelve thirty, one at four thirty, gone by the end of the day. End of the day, two in, two out. That's that's like magic. It's like magic. I I got picked up a, last. A couple of weeks ago, picked up an AE one on Tuesday, sold it on Wednesday. Wow. And people come in and go, oh, good for you. And I'm going, no, it sucks. <laughs> because you don't have any inventory. I don't have inventory. Ah, uh, well, yeah, enough you know, of my problems. Enough of the problems. What are your problems? Uh, well, I don't <laughs> have any problems, but you know what? Uh, as we're recording this, yes, this uh, Sunday is the Worldwide Pinhole Photography Day. Yes, yes. And in, uh, in, in the celebration of that, I'm going to do what we normally would do about this time. And I'm going. So I've got uh, I've got my Ondo pinhole camera right here. Ondo. It is loaded. What do, you, what, do you, what, do you, what do you think I have in here? It's loaded. It's loaded. What do, what do you think I got in? What, like what, what do you think I'm shooting with this kind of light? What do you think I'm shooting? Oh my goodness! <laughs> I turned. The, I couldn't cheat. <laughs> oh no! I didn't write it on the. Bottom. Oh okay. I thought I know, you but I do. Have, I normally write stuff on the bottom of my camera. Yeah, no, so, so I'm trying to cheat. No. Oh, I'm gonna guess Pan F fifty. Well, that would be my normal go-to. Yeah. Unfortunately, that would be like a 45-minute exposure. <laughs> That's a little long for So I went something a little bit faster. <laughs> I went uh, FP4+. Plus. Oh, okay. All 125 right. so, speed. 125. 125. Speed. So I've got that in there. I'm going to line this up. I'm going to start it. And how, how long? And I think it's like six minutes, six and, uh, six six, and a half. And it's going to go beep, beep, beep. I, okay. I sure hope so. Right, so if, right. if you hear my, if I start buzzing over here, that's the reason why. So or if he starts smiling, because so, uh, you see where you the buzzer. Happy <laughs> Worldwide Pinhole Day, y'all. I want you to get out, shoot, make a camera, have a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we, uh, we put together a uh, playlist. Yes. of our pinhole yeah. videos yes so i'm gonna put a link to that above his head go check out some of our, yeah. our pinhole videos they seem to get, be very popular they are very popular in fact probably uh yeah our top one is pinhole and one that's coming up rapidly is pinhole yes you guys not, apparently not like uh, some pinhole photography which is great because yes. we like it too yes uh and since while we're here i'm gonna one last order of business like please do share like share. subscribe Tell your friends. Tell uh, tell your mom. Tell, tell your dad. Tell your tell everybody. Tell people you don't like. If you Just go tell. post this on Facebook, yeah. we will be eternally grateful. Yes, yes. <laughs> we can't offer you anything more than that, but we will be grateful, and it will be eternal. But trying to keep to a topic. A topic. A topic. Uno. What are those? No, it's off topic. <laughs> that is off topic. But unfortunately, it was something new that came into the new, store. Yes. New. Everybody don't goes, don't, don't make us out of focus. Don't don't do it. <laughs> what well, these are fuzzy was disposable cameras, right? Eight hundred speed Kodak. Eight hundred speed. You know what that means they're perfect for? Nighttime photography. Night for time, uh, perfect for weddings and weddings. things like that. Oh, Low gosh. light situations. Yes, yes. Now, I don't know the pricing on these things, but I will shortly. Mm. By uh, the time before, this comes out? By the time this video comes out. By the time or, this comes yeah, out. We'll, we'll have a price. Even if it's made up, we'll have a price. Uh, we might actually have to have a future show on disposable cameras. Yes, I, that's, that is exactly what I thought one time. And then I forgot. 
But yeah, disposable. I'm glad you reminded me. Yes, you reminded me. (laughs) That would be a good topic because there's a lot of cool stuff out there now. There are a lot of cool disposable cameras out there right now. He just told me about this one today. But our topic today really is negatives and positives. Yes, negatives and positives. Negatives and positives. What exactly would be a positive out of this? (sighs) That would get it under 30 minutes. (laughs) Would that be slide film? (laughs) Yes, it would be. E6. E6. E6, love some yes, E6. Yes, yes. Now, here's the whole deal. I, people come in all the time, and they just throw out phrases and things. Yeah. And it's like, I'm here to pick up my my film. Yes. Okay. I'm well, here to pick up my film, and that is so generic. It's so generic, because film is what's right behind us. Unexposed. <laughs> it's cracking me up. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to cut that yeah, out. Yeah, we are. I'm just going to cut it right off. He's not dying, folks. No, no, no. I swallowed wrong. <laughs> All right. So, film. And I don't really work for Coca-Cola either, so. <laughs> he sips his Coca-Cola with his Coca-Cola. No, San Diego Operations. Very cool. Anyways. Now, where were we? We're talking about the nomenclatures, the film. The fact that film is so generic. Yes, the term film, film. is so generic. People come and say, I want film. I'm here to pick up my film. So I call over here and go, which one? They go, no, no. The ones I just got back from Lone Star Darker. Yeah. I said, no, that's not film. It's not film anymore. That's a negative. It is. And so we're going to kind of go through briefly what it is. The first step is film. Yes. Film is what comes in the canisters. It's got the little lead for it here. And it says, this is film. It's unexposed, ready to be shot mm-hmm. film. Then you take it, put it in your camera, forward it, fire, shoot, do all that fun stuff, get your media readings. And then what you do you have when you finish with that? Is it a negative? No, no, no it's no, not. It's not. It's exposed film. Exposed, uh. unprocessed. <laughs> I think we were going to the roll. <laughs> you know, we haven't had interruptions in quite some time. No, but um, I that's gonna, fine. Let's just see. Who <laughs> it's I'm probably sure. mom. Well, you know, I it's didn't call. Mom. I did not call mom. And it's I did not been a while. Mom. It's probably mom. Yeah, mom. So, well, anyway, um, the thing is, oh no, it's San Diego. It's San, San Diego. San Diego. San Antonio. <laughs> San Antonio. San Antonio. Uh, so then it becomes. It goes from being film to being exposed which means it has an image on it, Mm -hmm. but it's not processed. Right. You take it out, you open it up in the middle of shooting, it wipes all your images out. It's not fixed onto it. It's it's an image in flux. It's an image not solidified. It could go away. It it, It could go away. It's not solidified onto the film. It is not affixed to the film. Onto the celluloid. The celluloid. Celluloid, celluloid. One of them's fat and somebody's... I nope, 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 nope. <laughs> Shouldn't go there. Don't go there. <laughs> okay. Shh. Yeah, and the other one is on is on film. The uh, but the thing is, is that it's film, it's exposed film, and then when that exposed film becomes processed, yes, it's a negative or positive or positive. All right. So let me see if I get this straight. Straight. So I have said roll of film. Said roll of film. And, and this I is out and, of date. Film. It doesn't matter. I, I have a roll of film. I put it in a camera. Mm-hmm. And like a caterpillar, it metamor and I shoot it. It metamorphoses into exposed, exposed film. That's not quite a butterfly yet, but it's no longer film. Mm-hmm. And then it takes somebody like Lone Star Darkroom or you guys at yeah, home. Because there's a lot of places out there. Lo- well, or I got home, a list. I got a list home, on my Facebook page. Could get some lovely Ilford Patterson starter kit for developing at home. Which we right? have some. Yes. You have one of those. I got I eight, like those. Eight of them. Anyways, uh, you can develop it at home, and thusly you will get the full mm-hmm. butterfly effect. Yes, yes. It will transform into a negative. Yeah. You can then take the negative out in daylight, look at it, it and, and it's see, it's actually something like this right here. Negatives. Now, you're sitting there going, oh, okay, well, uh, we can't see what's on that. So <laughs> what we did is we had a contact sheet. And so you take your negatives, turn them into contact sheets, then you can sit there and go, Wow, this is what I, I like have. That one, I like that one. I like that one. Yeah. You know, this reminds me a lot of Lightroom. You know, the program on the computer for handling digital news. I've heard of it. <laughs> Never used it, but I've heard of it. 
computer. It's just a fad. Well, it, it's one of those things. Um, you know, you use the term Lightroom. Uh, mm -hmm. Really, a light box is really for films and negative, which is yeah. great. And of course, how many times have you recorded something and say, yeah, I got to get that on tape? Nobody's recording on tape so much anymore, are they? Well, no. Well, somewhat, did you go to the movies? Movie. What film did you see? Yeah. Uh, it's like, well, you didn't see a film. Technically, you saw a positive. At, at, but not even that anymore. I mean, a lot of these places now just is it, just, it's, it's, a, just, it's a digital, but the, but the term, the, the terminology the drive, has just stayed with us yeah, exactly. as far as it has it recording has. and tape and, and all those. Yeah. And get it on film. film. Well, film is, is actually making a huge comeback, a now, huge comeback. I, huge I saw comeback. I got some articles posted here that I that came out within the last week. It is making a tremendous yeah. comeback. It's so much so that several companies were unable to keep up with demand. S several companies? Several. Several companies. Several, several, several companies. companies. Several companies. Several. Yeah. So much so that they had to drop their line of one of them. Mm. It was I see you much. only have one of those left. Yes. It, Pro once he he sold has. two of them, that means. Two. One left. Happy customers. Yes. Yes. And that, it'd be interesting to see the results when yours come out. Uh, yes. Yeah, I'm shooting it right now, too. We're getting off track again. That's, that's us. Uh, we do that. We, we, we do that. Sorry. I'm sorry, Dixie, my mother-in-law. No. She's like, you yeah. guys keep switching topics. That's because it just follows where it, our brain it's, goes. It's not my fault. <laughs> it's, it's not, not track. Right. These are the pictures I took back many decades ago at the Virginia Slims Tennis Tournament. Virginia Slims. Which they, is that a it's like a weight loss club or something like Virginia Slims. Exactly. What are Virginia Slims? Whenever you run around chasing a little tennis ball at SMU Coliseum. Yeah, yeah. Then um it's tennis. This is the women's tennis back many decades ago. Many, and many I decades ago. Took my camera, shot. Were you a student at the time? No. It's after I graduated. Ooh, look at after that. I graduated. And yeah, these, yeah. Are the, these are the images. So whenever you have a negative like this, this is 40 years old. Over. The thing of it is, is I'm going to ask me. you. Oh, th did it beat? Uh, I'm good. You're uh, good. Bragger. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, anyway, here we go. This is a negative right here. These, yeah. are, my, these are mine. Here's the thing. Anything, if we had had... Digital. Well, we had computers back then, but did we? There was even digital photos out there back then that were like two megapixels. Yeah, wasn't Huge. the digital camera invented by Kodak like in the, in the late '60s? I thought it was in the, either early '70s, late '60s. Yeah. But it's they like had the first digital camera. Two, one or two megapixels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's technology. You anything that you would have had digital back then, you're not going to have it now yeah. because the software is so different. In 40 mm -hmm. years from now. What's going to happen? Software. Change again. Software is going to totally change again. And today's digital will be like the eight inch floppy disk of 40 years from now. An eight inch floppy disk? Yeah. Not, not like a three point three and a quarter? Oh, that's prior to the three and a quarter, <laughs> man. So you had eight inch and you had the four or four and a half inch floppy disk. And then you had the little hard disk. Mm -hmm. And then you had, the, and then you had, and then you had. And now we are that old that we have we have known the progression of, of floppy yes, disks. Of floppy disks. And one of the best things, and I and I, I've there's kids, great jokes in there too. Kids, plug your ears. But of course, how many times did I ever see an email where somebody had said, "Oh, and remember to back up your floppy disks." <laughs> Sorry, kids. I had to say yeah, it. it yeah, had yeah. to be said. Beep beep beep. <laughs> Shows so, not for children. These, if these had been taken on digital, I sincerely doubt that I would have had the ability to show you them now. That long ago. Yeah. But this, I can take these out and scan them at any time, any time, in the most current modern right uh, because scanner. Well, and boom. There, are, you know, they're, nowadays there you can you have the option, a great option, where you actually yeah. use a flatbed scanner to do this stuff with, because they have uh, a film flatbed scanners, which are great. Yeah. But something very popular people are doing, they're just actually using a digital camera with like a sixty uh, micro lens just to take a picture of the yes. negative. Yes. And and you know, mind you, as soon as you've taken a picture of your negative against a light background. You've instantly got yourself what a twenty megapixel image of that slide, mm -hmm. and, yes. it, and it's just that quick. Actually, yes. I, and, I and, haven't done yeah. it that way, but I, I see lots of people doing it that way. Yeah, this is Kodak TMY five hundred five three. It's got it listed up here on the side of the 
sprockets, which is hilarious. So this is the end result, a negative. Now, this is what you need to be keeping when you drop your film off yeah. to have it processed and you get your negatives or positives back. This is what you need to keep. I still have mine from my senior year college. You know, I probably have my negatives uh, that I took in high school as well. I mean, I didn't do anything. I maybe I like shot like two or three rolls, but I probably still have those negatives. I probably don't have any of the prints left. Yep. But I probably, if I had to, prints. I could probably find those negatives. negatives. Oh, I did a horrible job. But but still, the fact that I have the negatives, this I can do something. Is something that I did in the nineties. It's called scrapbooking. Kids. Scrapbooking. He did scrapbooking. WCT tennis <laughs> tournament. Here we go. WCT. Don't know who that is, but there we go. John McEnroe. Hey, he's right going to do some name dropping. Now. Name dropping. Name dropping. I was sitting near Tatum O'Neill. John, John McEnroe, the bad boy the of tennis. Bad the boy bad of boy. tennis. Tatum O'Neill, famous for what movie? At the, just Paper pa Moon. Paper Moon. She, but that was the early 70s, and this is obviously the early 80s. So this, 90s. This is 90s. That's 90s? Okay. This that's is that's like, just quite a bit ago, then. Yeah, quite a bit ago. Well, there's yeah. quite a distance between them and the movie. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. She's dating McEnroe at this time. Okay. Yeah. So, Tatum O'Neill. These are my photos, again, with the negatives. Right here, these are my negatives. And of course it's weird, they had a little different negatives back at that time. McEnroe was a brilliant tennis player and a brilliant businessman. He understood the whole concept of not just the game. Drawing but, intention to himself. That, but also to the game and to other things. And, and you, sneaker deals. I th Wasn't he the first guy with a sneaker deal? Might have been. I would think that that would have been somebody else, but it could have been him. No, because you know, as, at the so, time it was tennis shoes. Uh, but that was tennis shoes and this is way before him. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, negatives. And then here's my prints file. Negatives and here's my prints off of them. This whole book right here is just different. Oh, I don't know where it's the back here. See, I haven't gone through this in a long time. These are We're all going down memory lane, kids. Yeah. And here's Mike and Ro in an interview right here being interviewed after the match. And then, of course, somewhere in here are the negatives as well so you can pull these things out decades later yeah pass these on to kids grandkids whomever just pass them on and they will have all of these things right there in their possession now you sit there and go well i can put it on the hard drive well, well we can archive yeah we were talking about that and yeah. that's no you know uh and we were talking about uh auntie viv her name is Auntie Viv? Vivian Meyer. Oh, yeah, yeah, Auntie Viv. <laughs> we were talking about that, how those I photos know, were discovered, right? The, not the, well, the, well, the, 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 the un, undeveloped the film. The undeveloped film and the negatives. And the, ne she, the they, both. They were, well, they were, under, they were discovered. Yes. But had they been on some random hard drive in a junk cell, nobody, nobody would have ever found those pictures. Yeah, because people would sit there and go, you know, they, you probably couldn't, the files would be corrupted. Issues, issues, issues. It just it wouldn't be wouldn't have been worth it. I, mm. I, I no. you know, I you, wouldn't plug in just a random hard. Oh, well, I wonder what's on this. Maybe there's some photos. No, no. Be, yeah, could be but you see things. rolls of 120 film unprocessed. Hundreds, hundreds of rolls of film. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I thought it was upwards of close to a hundred thousand photos that she. Made. Oh my gosh, she had I think a couple of thousand rolls rolls of film. Yeah, and you know how many images on our 35 and medium format. So you know how many images are on all of that, and is that um, another interruption? Yes, it is. But it's I just I'm just checking, to make sure it's not mama. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, that's the whole deal. These things are really, really just. Let's get this. Here. Let me step on it. But see, I am able to sit there and go through my many years of shooting, and take these. I can on the latest greatest scanner. I can scan these, make great prints from them. And some people are going to be sitting there going, well, all of my photos were on my cell phone and my cell phone is gone now. And I don't have access to those mm. photos. That's going to be a lot of my that. phone broke, my phone lost, my phone this, my phone that. And if you're not uploading to a, some sort of cloud somewhere, those are gone. They're gone. They're, they're gone. They're, they are Meanwhile, gone. one day, I, whenever we first moved into here, into this location, I found a sucker. I'm a model. 
<laughs> I found a, a, a person who would sit there and sit with me. And I took two rolls of every black and white film that I had up here. And I went through and I shot. And I have each thing right here. These are contact sheets from that shot shoot. February 21st, 1999. Is that the past tense of shoot? Shot? shot. Yeah, shot. Shucks. Not shotted? Not shucks. Okay. But... 1999. Mm. These are the contact sheets. Now, what are the contact sheets? Well, the contact sheets are whenever you take the negatives and just make a print of them. And, and, I, and I probably should do that more because I love contact sheets. Now, if you guys have ever done it, it's super simple. You lay out your negatives, you put on a nice, you put some uh, photo sensitive paper underneath it, you expose it in light, and then you yeah. develop the paper. It's a great way to do these things. And, uh, this is, and I should just do it more. This is whenever I started actually kind of like, Roll my roll A February twenty first nineteen ninety nine. Oh, nice then, system. Yeah, and then various from oh, five by sevens. Oh, I made mean five by sevens. Ooh. Yeah, and I would sit there. What and kind do, of camera are you shooting? This is a uh, Pentax six forty five N. Nice, that was really cool. And these are some of the photos I have right here. And on the back of it, I have the the um, the date, the frame number. You tricked her out of some of her clothes, Todd. I'm just, I'm just kidding. She's clothed. She's, she's, she's fully she's, clothed. She's fully clothed. No, I know. I've already had to see. And anyway, all of these are just photos that I took. And on the neg on each of the negatives, it'll tell you what film I had. Just trust me. I'm a photographer. Trust me. I'm a photographer. I know what I'm doing here. You're perfectly, you're perfectly <laughs> yeah, safe in my hands. These are perfectly. These are going to be tasteful photos. And they are. They are. <laughs> and she loved them, too. So... It was kind of fun. And we, anyway, one of my favorites of the shots. Very right? nice. So, yes, one of the compliments, one of the more interesting compliments I ever got on these things is I had a photographer look at them and goes, I put my name on them. Ooh, yeah. I like that. It was, it was a, it was a compliment. Yeah, this guy was, he was a top-notch photographer. So then I also had one 8 by 10 done up. Just kind of like, yeah, there we go. This is out here on the back, you know, out the back door. You can't, the, you can't tell that. I know, I know. Out there in the original Trinity River. So the point of all of this is what? All, don't throw away your negatives. Don't throw away your negatives. <laughs> That's the point. Shoot film, don't throw away your negatives. And then I've got like a whole box of just things like this. Of all the different things I was trying, all the different films I was shooting. And it's kind of fun because each of these things are, this is... Kodak T400CN. Oh yeah, it's very nice that it's most of the most of stock films have got printed on They've what got they are. Print on, printed on them what they are. This is, and I, I sit there and I shot them so I could sit there and get see what the idea of each thing is. Now it's, okay, now it kind of sticks a little bit, but this is T400CN. You know, I mean, I had several of those, I guess. And I don't know, but it's just all fun because I've got all of these separated out as to what they are. And I normally keep mine and I, I date I date mine as, as close as I can. So all mine are essentially going to have at least uh, the, the year, the month and the day if I actually know. But normally when I'm shooting a roll of film, I be shooting over a couple of weeks before yeah. it's done on the camera. Uh, they do go all into the uh, the archive files. But yes. then what I do is I just put everything together as a year, and it just kind of goes like that. I just lump everything together by the year. I shot a lot of four hundred C. I would be upset if I lost my digital files, but you know it's not the end of the world because I I have all the negatives. I can go rescan them again. Yeah, absolutely. Now I've had one guy who came in and I was talking to, to another customer about this, and he basically mm -hmm. said he just spent twenty five or thirty five hundred dollars. Getting the images recovered from his hard drive that crashed. Yes, and that is very costly, very expensive. You know how much film you can shoot and process for twenty five hundred bucks? Quite a bit. Quite a bit. So quite a bit. And it was really interesting. So film, when it's exposed, it's exposed. Exposed. And then when it's processed, it is a negative or positive. Negative or positive. The three stages. Now, I went over this and I sent uh, Michael Bain, the Ilford rep, uh, uh, who's the only Ilford, Ilford rep. I've heard of Ilford. Uh, Ilford. He's the only Ilford, Ilford rep in the entire U.S. And he knows your name? And he knows my name, which is why I never get my that's phone almost, calls returned. That's yeah. almost as if he like knows my name. Almost. 
I probably. Have probably doesn't remember probably you. Remember my name. <laughs> but he knows who I am. He's yeah, yeah. That's I'm the guy. He, he'll probably point and say, "Oh, aren't you the guy that does the videos with Todd?" Yeah, yeah. yeah this is blocked. I'm probably so. blocked by now. But yeah, <laughs> I, 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 so I, I sent him an email and asked him, "These, you know, this is what the stages are." And he goes, "Yeah, that covers it. That's that's it." Now again. Once you have these things in your possession like this, this is the hard drive. This is the cool thing mm -hmm. of your collection. There are people who, prior to the digital world, just shot only film. Yes. Only film. Someone such as Annie Leibovitz. Yes. Annie Leibovitz has decades of things like this in an archive. Say her name again. Annie the last one? Oh, is it not? It's <laughs> Leibowitz. Oh, no, right. see, no, no, that is it. Who is that? It? I was thinking Leibowitz, but Leibowitz. But you're Le kind of saying Leibowitz, and I'm like, Lieber, okay, Le Le Leibowitz. That's fine. That's fine. It's, we'll just go by Annie from now potatoes, on. Potatoes, potatoes. Annie and I. Um, it was, yeah. <laughs> so she has a whole. Now the thing, and you sit there and go, okay, oh, that's cool. She's got a whole. What's so big about that? Well, at one point she had some issues with her financials, and her collection was put up as a collateral yeah. for a loan. And because of that, there were then lawsuits because the company who put up the loan tried to steal her inventory. Mm, not <laughs> and good. They valued it at $35 <clears throat> million. Dollars. Million dollars. And after the courts got through everything, they actually had everything looked over, everything reevaluated, and it turns out that her collection in 2009 of her negatives, images, etc., were worth $50 million. Wait, 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 wait. So, so you're saying all the film at my house is worth $50 million? Did you take pictures of all the great rock stars and world leaders? You didn't say that. You just said film in my house. I yeah. Just, you know, $50 million? Are you any? No, I'm not that there either. Go. <sighs> She's got thousands and thousands of rolls of films that she shot over the decades. And all of those images. I've shot for a few decades. Yeah. Did yours get on covers of all the magazines you didn't, worldwide? You didn't tell me I had to do that. <laughs> yeah, people know who her... Who, who her <laughs> what, hold a second. Do on. you know who I am? Uh, yeah, you're Robert. There you go. Robert, San Diego Operations. At yeah, yeah. I know and who you are. I am not uh, being paid by them at all. Not at all. And it's funny because now she has this huge collection of film, which, see, it's not film. See, that's what we always say. It's not film. She has it's this film. huge She's collection of negatives. of negatives and positives, mm -hmm. I'm sure, of decades of work, of things that have been published worldwide on Magazine covers, articles, mm -hmm. everything, everywhere. And it has that much of a value. And I tell people, if that was all shot and on hard drives, would it be worth $50 million? You know, that you're you're no. right. Because if you think about it, uh, it would. Let, let's just think of the time frame of digital cameras themselves. Yeah. Because even if she was shooting the best digital camera at uh, the turn of the millennium. Yeah. She would probably be at best getting like a six megapixel image from those cameras. Four, I think. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah four, four, six. four to six megapixel image. Okay. Yeah. Now, mind you, these images, uh, you're looking for quality. You're looking for sharpness. You're looking for detail. And right. I hate to tell you, but a six to a four to six megapixel image is not that great. No. However, blowing up a 35 uh, uh, millimeter negative yeah. or even a medium format negative easily could uh, become a 20 to 100 megapixel image if it's scanned properly. Yeah. I mean, it it's is. it's a lot more to work with. And it's with more to work with, more quality, better pictures. It's, yes. you know, it's just, it's phenomenal so beyond the, that. Just the, the, the change in the quality of that over the decades would have meant that her photos... 50 years ago, 30 years ago, would just not be that cool today. Yeah. Because of the, all of the improvements in that area. I mean, historic photographs that, you know, were taken 100 years ago can be rescanned. Rescanned. Much, much more quality. Obviously, Fixed lots in more Photoshop. detail. Adjusted Photoshop. Adjusted. Adjusted. And, well, you yeah. know, and mind you, the original, still perfect as it's always been. But yes. now you've got a much better copy of it. Yes. And, and, you know, you just can't turn that on. There are so many stories about this. <laughs> 
<laughs> so many stories about this. So many so stories. So many stories about this. The guy who did the last, fo- one of the last photo shoots of Marilyn Monroe. Okay. Not the last, but one of the last. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, I, th- that guy's name always escapes yeah, me, but always, you're, you're but right. Yeah. He, 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 he developed them, had negatives, looked at them, and went, nah, I don't like them. Eh. Stuffed them in a can, a coffee can. Right. Yeah, yeah. Buried them in the backyard of his house. Buried them in yeah, a coffee yeah. can for decades. Decades, those photos were in a coffee can in the backyard of the house. And the son one day accidentally dug them up. I like this. Pulled it up. I like where he's up, going with this. Found the negatives and went, huh, I heard about this. Yeah, and then here they are. My dad did a shoot. And, and there were probably no prints of them. There were no copy sheet, no, no nothing. nothing. There's nothing. just some negatives. Because the dad didn't like them. And he just says, okay, I'm going to get rid of them. The son pulls them out, cleans them off, scans them, yeah, brings them back to life, adds the color back into it. Yeah, yeah. Prints a book out of it that sold and is now a collectible item. The book, the first Yeah, which edition. is fantastic. I, and And... And if you'd buried a hard drive in your backyard, no, yeah, no. no. Uh, so equal, no. almost a similar story. Uh, Bob Jackson, who photographed uh, uh, Oswald being shot yes. by Jack Ruby. Yeah. Obviously, he won the Pulitzer Prize for that that one photo, but mm-hmm. uh, he took a second photo there. But you know, he, at the, his technology during the time is he didn't have the flash ready to go again. Okay. Well, no, actually, he didn't have the flash. It's his other guy had a flash, and he stole his flash from what I've heard. But well, yeah, but, was, but he but he took a second picture but of you, not not of Oswald getting shot, but he took a picture of Oswald being put in the ambulance. Yeah. However, it was way too dark. Yeah. And because he had it on film and with newer technology, he had since scanned that photo again and tried to bring out more detail. So I yeah. mean, essentially, you know, what we would think was just lost to history is like, well, no, we it the can't details be, are there. Technology is allowing to be recovered a little bit. Yeah. And. You know, without today's technology, and if that film is just discarded, it's like, well, you would never have it. You, you would never have it. Yeah. And and I'm not those, saying we those, all need a picture of Oswald on no. a journey, but, you know, it, it's and there are lots of different things <laughs> Which like I, that. I have seen the picture of Oswald on, a, on, yeah. on the, on the actually, the morgue slab. <laughs> so it, I've seen a lot of photos, people. I mean, this is the fun thing about this job. If you're watching this, our videos for the first time, if you've gotten this far in the video. Yeah, well, yeah, a lot of people drop uh, off. If, if mom and dad years. have got a shoebox full of slides. Yeah. Uh, I would I encourage you to go find yourself. Uh, there are some automated film scanners out there that you can probably buy for a few hundred bucks, mm-hmm. or there are services out there that it will take shoe boxes full of stuff and scan it. Yes, and you will be amazed at the amount of stuff that oh you can gosh, get yes. out of those photos. And yeah. and really, uh, the fact that they're there, the the fact that they've been essentially in the dark. Uh, you know, light has you know, light is very cruel because it will just fade the heck out of everything, including photographs. But the fact that these things are always tucked away in a closet, in a somewhere, shoebox, somewhere, the colors are normally as pristine as you will ever get. And mm. uh, it's just I, I highly oh, recommend getting them, gosh, scanning yeah. them, sharing them, man, because it, they're the originals. Yeah. The, and the original Kodachrome uh, yes. from the, the 64 Kodachrome from the 40s and 50s. You, you don't really have to do much to those. Right. They are just gorgeous still. I follow oh I follow a Twitter account that all they're really doing on this account is uh, showing Kodachrome slide. Uh, they, I guess they're going around and finding them. They're finding Kodachrome and they're putting up the best pictures. I guess they're like uh, kind of doing like a gallery. They're picking and choosing, obviously, some really great oh, photos. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, cars from the 50s and the 60s and the vivid colors. And it's just beautiful. Yeah. And this, so, so I'm going to tie it into what's going on today, too, now. Have a customer that comes in, yeah, and for for a long time he would just come in and buy four or five rolls of film, shoot forty five rolls of four film. or five, oh, okay, four right. or five rolls of film, and he would shoot them, <laughs> process his own film, take the just meticulous notes of everything, and just learn the characteristics of film shot under certain circumstances. Okay, so went out, shot uh, the protest of a year ago. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And developed this film, put them on Instagram. Uh, Five publications paid him. That's to have those Cinco in Texas. Cinco. And it was in May, too, so. 
Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Cinco. <laughs> yeah, baby. So and they, they paid him to put the images on electronics, their outlets, media outlets. Then they paid him separately to put those images in their paper publications. Now he has just all of these negatives. Yeah, yeah. So you have the images that were used in the purchase and in the dis- for the public. Right, but right. But then you've got dozens of other images that are that are of the same event that didn't get held out to public. But someday you could take all of that stuff and put up a gallery. Oh, absolutely. Of your work, which includes things that have been seen by the public, things not seen by the public. Then when you take that negative and store it, which since then he's now gone from working at a job to a full-time freelance photographer. You mean he went from a job to a job? To a photography job. A nine-to-five job to a fun job. And he loves it. <laughs> now he, he shoots, works in a camera store. I do. Yeah, it's it's a, fun every day. Every day's a blast. <laughs> True. But the customer, because I get to hear stories like this. This yeah. is what's fun. So because prior to all this, we talked about photography. Mm-hmm. And we talked about the value of negative. You and this photographer who has yet to be named? They yet to be named. Okay. And uh, Photography you know, be to be named later. To be named later and interviewed later. Yes. Yeah, hopefully. He's, he's on the list. He's on the list. Yeah. So the thing is, is that he's at the beginning of his career. Now, a lot of his stuff that he takes is digital for the work, but he does throw in some film stuff with it. He, he's excited. He had one project that they actually wanted him to shoot film on it, on the project. And in 20, 30 years from now, he's going to have an archive of negatives and positives. Uh, you know uh, that he's going to have <laughs> physical that he's going to have there are so many advantages to this because first of all when you have your negatives it's harder for people to steal the image and claim it as their own because you can pull because you have the original you're, you have you're, the original you're, you're, that's a, that's an actual excellent point yeah uh, and i mean uh programs like photoshop and lightroom do help you to actually put your copyright information in there but, but that doesn't mean somebody can't, can't go take and it open off. the file and remove it now yeah. a lot of people put watermarks on their photos but every it's time i gone. see you know then somebody will do they'll crop it in so they can't see your watermark yeah. and think and yes. before you know it that image is all over and it's really hard and to it's claim ownership by, yeah and how do you point. claim ownership when you don't have there is no such thing as an original data file no I mean, because they are just so easily copied. You know, yeah. you could have a hundred of them, the exact same copy, yet there is there's only ever going to be one negative. Or positive. positive. There's only one. There's only one. It's the Highlander all over again. Uh, you, there can I, be only one. There can be only one. And the thing of just one, one image on something. There's a guy who, when he was 13 years old, went up. Well, he lived on a farm in New York. So yeah, yeah. Crossed over the pastures and went to this little festival a little festival called woodstock a little music festival yeah he was 13 bunch of hippies had 12 exposure roll of film in his camera just 12 just 12 shot six just 12 photos six photos and he 12. probably came home with one left <laughs> well no he just he just shot six images well i don't want to waste all of them on oh, yeah. those hippies all those hippies well, he's a 13 year old he didn't care he was just taking pictures i saw some naked chicks i took pictures nope they were they were covered in mud i thought they were great that was great no no (laughs) no he was smart he took pictures of the of the performers Ooh, even better he had one photo just one one. photo of Jimi hendrix which became an iconic image of Jimi hendrix Mm -hmm. it became a world-renowned people when people saw it they go Jimi hendrix at woodstock we know that photo yes this kid was 13 so just recently, yeah, uh, I'd say about in the past ten years or so, okay, the photographer's mother needed to be uh, needed help, and he sold the rights to the image, not the actual item, not but the, the rights negative. to the item, right, right, for a, over six figures, the publishing rights, the, the for over six figures, Ooh. and I was in he he got to keep the, the, the in the contract deal. It's like this negative stays with me until I die. And then when I die, the negative will then go to the, a half sister of Jimi Hendrix, who's doing a collection of okay. his works. Yeah, and so she can now use the image to promote her her collection. That's super cool. I like that. Yeah, and so then when he passes away, she will get that negative, mm-hmm. and she will have that negative and the rights to use the negative. 
And that is just one photo he took out of six images on a 12 exposure roll. Got him over six figures. Is that like being a, a one hit wonder? Yes. No, actually, he, he went on to become a photographer. Oh, well, that's fantastic. Right, right, right. That's he, good to hear. That's he very became, good to hear. He became a full-time, full-fledged photographer and shot images on film for decades. That's fantastic. And so he has a huge archive of his work. Okay. And it was really cool. So you hear stories about things like this all the time. Vivian Meyer. Yeah. You, uh, someone who, if all of those works had been on hard drives, would probably it would have been lost. It would have been lost, or it would have been so few megapixels we couldn't. We didn't. We wouldn't care. Yeah. We wouldn't have the software to, to operate it. Then yes, you, that's true. There's uh, you find things like oh gosh, I can't even remember the photographer's name, but there was a there is an exhibit out there called the suitcase exhibit. <laughs> it was a suitcase full of negatives that they found, and it was a famous photographer of the time, mm-hmm. and now the image of that. It's continuously making worldwide uh, tours on, on uh, exhibits for the suitcase exhibit. Okay. Just negatives found in a suitcase from a famous photographer that they later turned into an exhibit. Then there are people like Amy, who uh, who has a vast collection of images. Huge. Huge, huge, huge. And that's a financial base, $50 million dollars. Then there are it's just, just, there's so many things like that that are out there with people with the images on negatives and positives that can make a career out of it. And in 30 to 40 years from now, people who are shooting today, doing work, you're going to have a lot Which less is something something we should go we should go years, look at. Now we now. weren't prepared. This is I think this is a good question. We're, we don't have this answer today, but if if one of you guys wants to let us know that would be great. It makes me wonder what is the most valuable digital picture today? Compared to what's the most valuable film oh, picture you, today, and no you know comparison. how 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 much different are they in, uh, in cost? The, the original glass plate negatives for Mansell Adams, a box of them, yeah, a hundred million dollars in value. A hundred. Well, well, I understand, but I was talking about like one image. So, for example, a glass plate, the original glass plate image of Abraham Lincoln, I'm sure is pretty huge. Yes. And how well, would that compare to the most famous it's digital? Strange, image right but now? things like that are not as valuable as pop culture things like that. Hmm. Like a single ten shot of Billy the Kid, well, because of the rarity, the rarity of it. It's yes. on a ten type, which is like a negative because you can't make images from it. Yes, but it, there's a lot of process involved. But that piece of tin was there the day that image was shot, so it's part of the history. So it's yes. a negative. The negative is there with you. It's part of the history, and you know it's what the a witness value, to history. The value of that tin piece of tin is. Uh, no, I, I I'd heard about it, but I don't know the actual number. Well, one of them they've had they, they only have two images of Billy the Kid on ten. One of them sold for three point five million. Okay. The other one the guy's asking five million for. Now eventually he'll probably be able to get it because the prices on things like that are. The, there's you're not going to have any more of that. Image. No, they're not being made anymore. No. So it's it's <clears> just <throat> fascinating, of just just what you can do with the items. That with the negatives, with the tin types, with the glass plates, with things like that, it's fascinating how you can archive it and keep history. Right, and uh, so and, it's and, it's yes. important. So when you shoot negatives, when you shoot positives, and you have it processed, take the images with you. <laughs> yeah, there's one little so box. The, the check box at the bottom of the form. Do you want your negatives back? The answer, answer is, is always yes. yes, yes, yes. You do, because I've had one person who who went no. Uh, I, I hear stories from Chris and then Chris goes, N-. so six months later, the person calls me back and, and goes, wants an enlargement. Do you have the negatives? Because my hard drive crashed and I lost all my images. And Chris like, goes, no. you said you did not want them back. So you're not getting them back because I don't have them. <laughs> I got rid of them. So, yeah. But you know, it's, she's not in the business of storing everybody's no. negatives. So no, it's... I've got two boxes over here filled with with the little forms of just things they got back from long star and the negatives and, and the negatives of, of people just it's like yes i want it back i'll pick and it up and never picked them up those two boxes are just the people from this year this year <laughs> january 1st everything that was Past I always prior, want my negatives back. That I gave back to her and they're probably been shredded. You know, I went point. to uh, and I've been to a couple of uh Comic-Con conventions. Yes, I've been to 
Yeah. And and of course, when you hear that somebody this, this is before they became like famous. Yeah, to go well, to. yeah. And so you, yeah. I will. I you know I took a picture of Darth Vader, and then of course you hear that David Prowse has passed away, and I'm like, oh, but I can't find the picture on my computer. But you know, within a few minutes. I know exactly where the negative, where the negative is. is. I can rescan a photo and boom, I'm, boom. I'm there in, in, in minutes. Chewbacca. But if I had to go find out which old hard drive out of 10, I'm never going to find that picture. No. It's just... It, you can't. It's hard to archive. So in 30, 40, 50 years from now, people who have negatives, that's going to be far valuable because there's fewer people keeping them today than there were 50 yeah. years ago. So go shoot film and have some fun. So we and start with it. film. Yeah. We start with film. Becomes Exposed. Exposed. Then becomes negatives or positives. And it's developed and becomes negatives or positives. Yes. And then you have something in your physically in your hand. So maybe we need to call it your archive. Your archive. Your archive. <gasps> like any of Bruce's archives? There you go. So film. Or maybe in Myers archives? Film, exposed. <clears throat> Uh, negative, positive, archive. Yeah, archives. And here's the thing. Vivian Myers prints, they're fighting over the rights of them right yeah, now. Yeah. But one company was making a half a million a year off of her images before the courts came in and kind of <laughs> muddled everything. But a half a million, $500,000 a year off That's of the images. Cool. That, yeah, um, that is real cool. It is cool. You got anything else? I tell you what, I got lots more, but this is, we're going to kind of cut we're this. Get, we're getting a little the, long the, in the tooth. So. But the, the thing of it is, this is such an important topic. It really is. Yeah. Keep your negatives. Keep your positives. Keep your glass plates. Keep your tin types. Keep things like that. I think that. that's going to be the name of this video. Why keep it? Why, why keep neg? Should you keep your negatives? Why Keeping keep your negatives? negatives. That's why keep your negatives? A big title across this video. Should and you keep are, your negatives? But there's a lot of customers coming here who are inspired by the guy who comes in. And are now shooting film. I know that's and cool. They're doing, and they're they're keeping their negatives. Yeah, it's fun. It is fun. So well, with that, uh, please do share, yeah, yeah. share like, like, subscribe, tell a friend, tell, tell two friends, man. tell your friends to keep, keep their, their negatives. negatives absolutely, and um, they're positive. Go yeah, and if you're a film shooter, like I said, go rooting around in mom and dad's and grandmas and great grandmas. Yeah. Uh, film collection and go find some really some gems in there because oh, man, my mom is doing that and she's getting she's found the photos yeah. not the negatives but she's going to get copies made of those and send them off to family members and they are so excited that they're going to get these and it's pretty cool so do those things yeah. and you know share them with everybody share you know at, share them with us on some instagram we'd love to see some yeah. stuff mom has one picture of like an aunt and or like several, one of the relatives and and people love it because they said that's the only time they ever saw her laugh <laughs> it was a photo of her laughing just the like, one time just the one time is that we've never seen her laugh before and we have it on film we have a, <laughs> we have a picture of my my dearly uh my dear grandmother uh -huh. she was actually holding a beer and an ice cream it's the only only copy of it ever and she's that that's not me yes it's, yeah. it's, it's we it's got on, proof it's on film we got proof it's, yes. excuse me it's on a negative it's on a negative that's great. Well, listen, we're that's it for us, guys. Yeah, we're gonna top. We're gonna hit on this. We're again. heading out. Let's yeah. get out of here. Oh, I'm tired. Ouch. Oh, oh, it's I like you worked long. all day. What? It's that too long. I'm gonna. I'm gonna take this pinhole camera my with knees. me. Oh, oh, my back. Oh man. Oh, you're a whiner. I am indeed. Oh, turn it off before I fall over and hear a thud. Oh, timber.